guys, it's about 6.30 at night and I just got out in the water. I only have a little bit of time, so hopefully we can find something good, maybe some jewelry, who knows what. I'm at a beach that's kind of off the beaten path. It's not a very popular one, but I have found some really cool stuff here. I found World War II relics, modern jewelry, cell phones, you know, all kinds of good stuff. So let's get right to it and let's get digging. All right, guys, this is first target out in the water. I'm in like shoulder deep water, but uh, yeah, it's, I think it's like 6.30, 6.45 right now. So I do not have a lot of time. So I really got to make this hunt count. Oh, oh, still down there. Okay, I marked the target with my foot. Put the scoop right in front of it. So I should get it now. Hopefully. So I'm gonna dig this one. And right in front of this one is a big ugly target. I mean, it's not ugly. It kind of sounds like a cell phone, but it's probably like a, a beer can or something. It's like one of those overload targets. Whatever this is, it's in the scoop now. Let's get the sand out of here. And we got, ooh, that's a, very green coin i'm pretty sure it's a quarter yeah that's a quarter but look at that color it's been there a hot minute so let's see what else was right in front of this quarter that was screaming at me it's a really weird tone very scattered oh i got it oh i i feel it clunking around <laughs> guys <laughs> no way <laughs> We got a phone. Any ID or money inside? Let's get this, this case off of here. See if there's anything in it. Sometimes there is, but it's looking like, no. We got a Samsung phone. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, not a bad way to start it off. Like a foot away from that phone, I got another Another hit, it sounds like a coin. So yeah, I was out here for maybe 20 minutes and I didn't find a single target. And now all of a sudden, I'm on them. All right, whatever this is, it's in the scoop. It sounds like a coin and it is. We got a penny. Okay. Another nice sound and tone. This one sounds kind of deep. I'd say probably like maybe eight inches down based off the tone. Hard to tell sometimes because uh, the size of the target determines the tone, but this one definitely was deep and I think I got it. Oh, there it is. A very good sign when you start finding these bad boys. You see how it's green on top? So this fishing weight's been here a while. So that means anything heavy that's been dropped around here and who knows, last few months at least, is probably gonna be within reach of my machine. So I'm gonna stay right here until the sun goes down and see what else we can find. Okay, it's tough digging this deep because I can't really put weight on my scoop. Thankfully the sand is kind of soft. It's like pretty mushy so it goes right in there but whatever this is is in the scoop whoa <laughs> monster four ounce jeez all right this is by far the worst sounding target I've heard all afternoon and you always have to dig those because a lot of times those really crappy targets can be something really amazing so I try not to discriminate when I beach hunt. I mean, I, I know the sound of bottle caps and you know coins and stuff like that, but um, I try not to pass up on too many things. If whoop, still, still down there. If it's giving me a solid hit, I'm always gonna dig it. So okay, whatever this is, it's in there. Let's see what we got. I don't see it yet. I see it, I see it, I see it. I think that's an old ring. I'm pretty sure that's a ring. Oh yeah, for sure. It's polished on the inside. 
Yeah, this is a really crusty ring. I think it's stainless steel. Let me put the scoop down for a minute. Oh yeah, look at that guy. That is one crusty ring. <laughs> guy had a big finger too. Well, sweet. We did get some jewelry today. It's not gold, but a ring is a ring. Awesome, let's keep going. We might, I think we maybe have like maybe 30 to 45 more minutes out here. So let's get on that gold. Okay, you guys hear that? This target is right on the edge of that hole where I just dug that ring. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally standing in the hole while I'm digging this target. Oh, she's seashell stuck in there. Okay. Next to, let's get this thing out of there. Next to that ring, we got, oh, yep. Look at that, super crust. Oh no, that's not a penny. Guys, this is a pendant. And it, it's crusty. I think it's like a religious medallion by the looks of it, but it's too far gone, I think. Yeah, that's a pendant of some kind. I don't know. I'm going to clean this thing up and put a picture uh, in the corner of the screen so you guys can check it out. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get that cleaned up when we get home. Maybe it's something cool. Awesome, let's keep going. All right, I got another low tone here. I'm in like chin deep water now, so I'm having to like jump over these waves while I'm trying to scoop. You know, a lot of people don't like hunting this deep and that's why I really like hunting this deep because most detectorists don't ever get out this far. So a lot of stuff stays out here for a long time. So I have a nice height advantage over most people. Guys, guys, that's Cartier love ring, but there's no way that's real. It can't be real. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's, that is a ah, heartbreaker. It says Cartier 750 with the serial number inside, but that's, that's way too light to be real. Oh man, <laughs> oh, what a heartbreaker. You know, I found three of these uh, Cartier love rings that were fake. And if you watch one of my old videos, uh, it was the one where I found a, uh, a GoPro. And, uh, but I found a Cartier ring, a love ring in that episode and it ended up being real. So, ah, man, <laughs> that was so exciting, son of a gun. Okay, this sounds weird. I can't really tell what it is. Ooh, but I got it. All right, what'd we get? What'd we get? Oh, no! We got another ring. This one looks like possibly 925 silver by the looks of it. So, oh yeah, that's silver all day long. Heck yeah, guys. Wow. I, I've literally only been out here for maybe an hour and we got three rings already. Holy cow. Pretty neat design on that one. Okay. Let's see what this is. I went back to where I started my grid from because the target seemed to drop off. I got to the end of the washout. So it's like, let's go back to the start of the washout, work our way the opposite direction. And wouldn't you know it right away, boom, got a hit. Uh, what do we get? Oh, there it is. Whoa. We got a green quarter. Yep. Yeah. All right. 
Let's get one more ring. <laughs> I know I'm asking for a lot, but one more ring would be pretty cool. Let's get back. Okay, we got another weird sounding hit right here. Probably gonna be my last one of the night because I'm running out of daylight. Let's see here. I'm trying to get right on it. Ooh, I got it. Let's see what we got. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. I don't know what that is. This is the second one of these I found. I think it's like a bolt or something. Nothing exciting. Well guys, the sun's going down behind me and you all know what that means. It's the end of our hunt. So today's hunt was only two hours and we really made those two hours count. You know, normally this beach doesn't produce that much and I don't really come here that often. It's not really part of my rotation, but I am so glad I came today. We found that fake Cartier ring. We found a silver ring. We found that other Junker stainless ring and we found that Samsung phone. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna go home and plug it in see if it charges but I don't really have very high hopes we'll see it looks like it's pretty waterlogged but guys thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time guys it looks like you're gonna get some bonus footage <laughs> so I was just leaving the beach and I got back to my truck and I checked my phone and I got a message from a woman who said that she just lost her diamond engagement ring at Siesta Key Main Beach where I was just detecting is not that far from Siesta Key so I'm on my way over there right now. The sun is down, it's dark outside. I mean, I don't have a headlamp and I'm not gonna be able to see anything. I'm just gonna be able to go by my ears only. That's all I got. Time is of the essence on things like this because she lost it in the dry sand and she lost it right in the middle of Siesta Key Main Beach. Siesta Key gets hit by so many detectorists on a regular basis that this ring is not gonna stay there for very long. So stay tuned and Let's see if we can get it. Okay. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yes. Yes. Is it a it's a quarter. Oh. Son of a gun. Oh yeah. I will be back. You got a flashlight? I do. Did you find it? <laughs> so you can tell Christina oh showed up in there. <laughs> yeah, right at the very end. Oh my god! Oh my god, Sean, That's awesome. Get out of here. Oh my god, See, we're not bad people. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <gasps> oh my god. Yay! Wow. That, that is beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> You're welcome.